In the previous lessons, we examined government regulation on monopolies. And one example of government regulation would be taxes. We're going to take a look at what happens when the government enacts a per unit tax on a monopoly. Now remember, the marginal cost curve is the firm's supply curve. And whenever we have a tax imposed, we have a leftward shift in the supply curve. So, since the marginal cost curve represents the firm supply curve, marginal cost is going to shift to the left. This becomes marginal cost curve one. And we're going to locate our new profit, maximizing quantity and price. We find the intersection where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Bring this all the way down. This represents our new quantity. And we bring this up to demand, which represents our new price. So as you can see, prices would go up and quantity would go down. So basically, if the government is ever going to tax monopoly, they're only going to pass the burden of the tax on to the consumer. Can the government ever get the monopoly to produce at the socially optimal level, which is where demand equals marginal cost, without force, without forcing that they lower their prices and produce a larger quantity? Well, to motivate the firm through incentives to get them to produce more, the government can provide the monopoly with what we call a per unit subsidy to produce more goods and lower their prices. Now remember, the marginal cost curve represents the firm's supply curve. And if the goal of the government is to lower prices for consumers and at the same time quantity increases, this results in a rightward shift in the supply curve. And since the marginal cost curve represents the firm supply curve, the marginal cost curve is going to shift to the right. If the government is going to give this firm a per unit subsidy. So let's find our new profit maximizing quantity in price. Well, we find where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. This is our new intersection. Bring this down. This represents our new quantity. As you can see, quantity is increasing. We find our new price, and it's located where demand equals marginal cost. This is referred to, once again, as the socially optimal level. So the per unit subsidy, prices go down, quantity goes up. This is how the government can motivate with incentives to get the monopoly to produce at the socially optimal level.